is a life, you know. Hot sun, beautiful lakes, green, luscious trees. Now, I've been sent to subtropical South Africa to find out a bit more about my favourite subject, eating. So I thought I'd start by trying to catch um, me supper. Hmm. What Steve doesn't know is that this lake is swarming with crocodiles. Steve, hi Steve. Hello. Sorry to disturb you. No, no, it's all right. I'm Alison. I need you to come help me with my project. Oh, you're the one. The project's about eating, yes? This is right, about eating. Oh, right. So where yeah. do we start? Well, come on. Let's jump in and we'll okay. and see. Oh, we got it. Oh. We're there. Yeah. Right now, what is this, uh, this eating project? We're going to be studying the feeding habits of one particular species of, uh, of animal in this area. Yeah? What is that? The Nile crocodile. <laughs> They're about, oh, about a couple thousand here. And uh, I need your help to help me out finding out exactly what these animals are eating. There's a couple of thousand in the water here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've just been putting my hand in that water. You could have warned me. Crocodiles, fantastic. All right. Oh, that would be brilliant. Well, what do they eat? Um, that's one of the things we really need to find out. What they're eating and how much they're eating. So what will I actually be doing? Oh, all sorts of things. <laughs> Alison Leslie is a crocodile scientist. She's investigating the food chain of the crocodile. But what is a food chain? Different animals eat different things. You can start with any animal and follow back what it ate. This is called the food chain. It tells us the lion eats a wildebeest. The wildebeest eats grass. But will Steve find out the food chain of the crocodile? Or will he be in it? At least the first crocodile Steve meets are safe within the walls of a tank. Wow! Look at it. How many are in here? Oh, about 40. Well, I, I tell you, they're a lot smaller than I thought. I thought they were going to be a lot bigger than this. No, these are not the adults. These are only the four-year-olds. But even these young crocodiles can be quite ferocious, as Steve's about to find out as he starts his investigation of the food chain. There we go. Fish. That's how it starts, it? Here's a piece of fish for you. Okay. There. go down a treat so Steve can move on to the next rather more peaceful stage of the food chain the fish what is that they're eating there that is a, a plant-based fish food oh right so the fish eat plants mm -hmm. so that's the whole that's the whole chain isn't it the crocodiles eat the fish and the, the fish eat the plants mm -hmm. oh wow this is easy isn't it piece of cake well not that easy actually it's a lot more difficult to uh, work out the food chain of a wild crocodile and this is wild crocodile territory, not a place for the faint-hearted. Finding out what wild crocodiles feed on isn't easy. You have to trap one first. Right, let's get to work, I think. So this is where it is, is it? Yep. Now, what can I do for the time being? Uh, until we get this mesh up, I think everyone just... Uh, yeah, everybody stay on the bank, really. Stay where you are. All right, I won't come up here. But this is the this is this red thing here is the, the trap. Yeah. 
I feel at the moment, I'm not really scared of most animals, but actually when you see how big they are and they are well, we telling me stories, and I, I, just, I feel pretty nervous about this because they will take you, any chance they'll take you, and they can come up, they'll take you. So, I listen to Alison, it'll be the best thing. She's the boss. <laughs> Is it nearly set, Ali? No, no, we've just put our safety fins in here. Oh, that's for you? Yeah, it's for us. Oh, I see, can I come down now? Come on down and we'll, uh, we'll oh, tell I you how see. this works. Oh, right. Off this hangs your bait. Right. Okay, on that piece of string, on that piece of cable. The bait is what, the, the meat? Yeah, they're carnivores, so they'll take pretty much any any meat. And a a carnivore yeah. is a meat eater? Yeah, it's a meat eater. So we, we stick a piece of meat on here? We'll stick a chunk of meat on there. All right. Um, we'll then set our noose around this area. Yeah. And what we're basically doing is forcing the croc to come in through this gap, through our noose, and to pull on the chunk of bait. No, right. if, you get, if they get trapped in this noose, are they not going to hurt themselves? No, we, don't, we don't, really don't want to harm the animals. So how does okay. it, why does it not harm them? This, this noose, as you can see, it's, it's not one of these nooses that tightens on the animal as it panics. Right. Okay, so if the animal stops panicking, the noose will not tighten on him. No, right. the other thing is, and I'm pretty sure most people would be surprised by this, but why do you want to trap a 15-foot-long crocodile? I guess a lot of people want to know. Why do you just let him go? <laughs> Leave him be. You know, the crocodile is what we call a top predator in this ecosystem. So therefore, it's really important to know what the guys are feeding on. There are about 2,000 of them, and they're obviously going to make a big impact on the system. And, you know, we have to find out what's in their stomach and how much they need to live and to flourish as a population. But the crocodile is basically the but top the of its food It's, it's right at the top. They're the big chiefs. So nobody the messes with a croc. Nah. Right here. Nah. Crocodiles, like most top predators, are very powerful with very sharp teeth. She might look slow and clumsy, but if she attacked, this crocodile could reach a speed of 40 miles per hour. It's easy to think that crocodiles are evil animals, but that's not true. A wicked thought has never entered her mind. All she's thinking about is her dinner. Yeah, he could, he could do some damage. He could pop off an arm, a limb, you know, because as they come in to bite, how they, how they feed is they come in to take the bait or whatever, and they dive roll, What's and that? they spin. They spin their whole body. You see the whole body rolling. And, and so what, doing, sort of head over here? Yeah, or? right over, sideways, because they can't chew. Crocodiles can't chew at all. They can do this, but they can't move their jaw sideways like we can, so they can't grind or chew their food. They have to grab onto it and then roll to break that piece off. And then just swallow it whole. Mm, pretty neat, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll get the meat. <laughs> I mean, this is not going to be much fun if... Thank you. A vegetarian. Oh, oh that's disgusting. That st How old is this? Stinks. <laughs> oh, oh, that was horrible. Oh, this, yeah. They like this. They like the smell yeah. of this. You just hold it right there so they can smell yeah, it. And you're uh... joking. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> they leap out of the water, won't they? <laughs> yeah, I just I need a few seconds here to try. Okay. There's what? one. Croc, eh? How far? About 70 meters. Oh, there's right. a crocodile coming to have a sniff. Right. <laughs> Jason, you can hold this. I gotta oh, we're get in still the water here. now. No, you want me to put this down, yeah? Yeah, you leave it down. Like that? Okay. It wasn't a fish, eh? Okay, let me get in quick. There's a crocodile coming in and it'll be underneath the water so we won't see it unless it attacked you don't they don't so uh, we've got a piece of wood here we would feel it if it was coming in this is pretty frightening actually yeah I don't want to be in this water longer I'm afraid okay you can see it what you can see it out there just the hippo yeah. or the croc croc yeah, yeah. speak to me Okay. Okay. How big is this, this crocodile, that the one that's sort of out there having a look? That one? Yeah. That's probably just over two meters. So you see, what you do is you take, if you see its head length, okay, and you multiply that roughly by about seven, right. it'll give you an idea of the size of the croc. Well, it looks like a big head to me. Yeah, so that would is. That, could that one really hurt us? That one could, sure. Definitely time to leave. Yeah. 
Tough work, eh? Petrified. <laughs> The number of animals that can survive in the wild depends on how much food they can find. And as night falls, it's time for Steve to do some crocodile counting. Uh, Alison, I'm a bit unsure why I'm in a boat in the middle of the night looking for crocodiles. <laughs> why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? That's a good question, Steve. Um, one, one of the ways to find out how many crocodiles you have is to come out at night like we're doing with the spotlight and uh, count the number of eyes you see. There we go. Oh. Look at him, look at him. Isn't he a beauty? Oh, gone. Come. What, what's the importance of, of finding crocodiles in the middle of the Okay, well, it, it all relates back to the food chain. They are the top predator of the food chain. And because of that, we need to know how many that the, the system can actually hold, how many crocodiles can live in the system. Well, they're not going to attack the boat or anything, are they? Well, so far, so good. Oh, see the eyes? There's a little bit of a flash uh, there. Yeah, yeah just... That's his head. That's his head, yeah. That's all you see. Eyes and nose. Is there any more here? There's just one over here. Can you see it? See him? That's a beauty. Look at that seal. Whee! That's a biggie. Look at his tail. See his tail, yeah. Steve? He's beginning to move a little. Whoa! Uh, look. Wicked. Really close now. Look. You've seen it. Oh, that's beautiful. Whoa, Whoa fantastic. See that? Wow. I thought that was a log, actually. I thought that was a piece of wood. Yeah, no, that was a beauty. But that was him, yeah. Now, how many crocodiles do we expect to, to see tonight? Yeah. Oh, if we see 15 or 20 in this little piece of river, it'll be a good number. That's a good one, guys. This is a very good one. The number of crocodiles is important because they feed mostly on fish. If there were too many crocodiles, they'd eat all the fish. So there's a fine balance between the number of crocodiles and the number of fish. Suppose there are plenty of fish and just a few crocodiles looking for dinner. The more fish there are, the more crocodiles can live here. But the more crocodiles there are, the more fish they eat. Gradually, it becomes harder for the crocs to find dinner. There simply aren't enough fish left for all the crocs to survive. The number of crocodiles starts to fall. which is good news for the fish. With fewer crocs eating them now, the number of fish goes up, and the cycle is back to the beginning again. This cycle is quite natural. Numbers of animals go up and down all the time, but nature keeps it in control. There's a delicate balance. But what if someone comes along to upset that balance? if someone else starts taking the fish. As you can see, Steve, this is a very important tourism area. And one of the main activities here for everybody is sports fishing. But it's very important that we make sure that the human beings who are fishing are not actually affecting the fish population, because the crocodiles need fish to live on. Alison, what I can't understand is how you can... Why do you care for these sort of these scaly, big, man-eating <laughs> beasts? Yeah. You know, every single animal in this world deserves a place to live. And if we can help this crocodile to survive and not to be sort of killed off from this whole area, we will have done what we set out to do. At last, it's time to return to the crocodile trap. 
but have they been lucky? Oh dear, looks like we missed one today, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't suppose you get one every day then? No, it's not an easy thing. And look, the bait's even gone on this one. That's a real shame. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I suppose that's it then. I better might as well just head back to my car. Yeah, not so fast, Steve. We've got to go and check our other traps. Right. I thought I'd got out of it then. Not exactly, Steve. Look who's waiting. All right. Oh, this is one you've already got, yeah? Yep. Freshly caught. No, has it? <laughs> you sure this is drugged? No, it's drugged. It's definitely drugged. Okay, right. Steve, now's your chance to see what a wild croc's been eating. Okay, <laughs> so we have to we have to take the tape off, oh, put this in its mouth, and then uh, I'll show you how to scoop it out. So that should be all right. Pretty much on. Okay. I'm gonna put my hand in there. Okay. Right, I'm gonna lift it up, and if you can pop that ring in. You want me to put this in? Yeah. Where's it going? Okay, you grab one side, I'll grab the other. Right. It's gonna go in the bottom first. Yeah. Open it up, and then it's gonna actually. How's that? I don't know. <laughs> you know more than I do. That's good. Now that's not going to come away, is it? No, no, that's not going to open its mouth. No, no. All right, no, 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 I'm going to put my hand in here, yeah? Yeah. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I've done some things in my time <laughs> for, to put my hand try. in a crocodile's mouth. Now, how long do you stay drugged for? About 12 hours. About 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And just get your arm in there. Oh, okay, wait, if you can do it from the side, actually, because yeah? I'm going to come through uh, here. Will put my hand in here? Yes. <sighs> Go on. Okay. You hold that down. Yeah, I've got it down. Beautiful. All right, I'm yes. gonna get this scoop in. Okay. Now, what are you what are you doing with this now? Okay, now this is gonna it? go all the way into its stomach. So that's a straight line, is it? Straight all the way down. And we're gonna then uh, pull it out and see exactly what it's been feeding on. Right. <sighs> Rather you than me, pal. <laughs> of course, this doesn't harm the crocodile at all. Okay. What did you <laughs> eat today? Wow. Right. Wow, let's have a look. See what we've got. What have we got here? We've got Looks like, uh, some yeah. bird's feathers, yeah. Bird feathers. And some oh, wow, and fish bones. Fish look bones. So we know that this crocodile ate at one stage a bird, mm -hmm. and maybe the, the fish bones might have been in the bird. It could have been, so or, you've or got, it could also have eaten the fish. Well, you've got the, you've got the, the, the food chain there, haven't mm, you? Because mm -hmm. you've got um, the bird that would have eaten maybe the fish, the fish would have eaten the plants. The plants, that's And right. this crocodile he ate on the top that and bird. Ate whole lot. And that's nothing. Right is going to top this crocodile, is it? Not at all, look at that. That is that's exactly what we've been looking for. It's, mm. it's what it was all about. It's was worth putting my hand in your mouth, crocodile. <laughs> As you can see here, we, uh, we now know what they're eating on. Birds, fish and all sorts of other goodies. Um, we don't know how much they need just yet, but that's going to happen. But, uh, and we know where they're going from our big tags. So all of this helps, that just seeing stuff like this will, will help you. It's the diet and feeding habits of an owl crocodile.